and welcome to Belfast. Uh, today, I'm gonna to take you on a tour of the Titanic Museum, something that I know my daughter Olive absolutely loves. Uh, we love the film Titanic, and obviously there's a lot of history here that we really wanna find out. So this is a video for you and also for Olive as well. So let's have a look around the Titanic Museum. Belfast. I was showing you like the highlights. Oh, like through the years. <laughs> so to begin with, there's loads about the history of Belfast and this whole entire area. So we've not even hit the Titanic part yet, but a lot of history of Belfast as you walk into into the museum. Very interactive. Yeah, well, you think it's one of the things to uh, uh, build up next to it, yeah. What? Oh, so this is just a shipyard, this bit. Hey, I know, yeah. Well, then they just built the boat in the in between those two bits. Yeah, held together. Oh, yeah. what? There's a ride? Yeah. Yes, mate. <laughs> I had no idea there was a ride here. Yeah. yeah. came in here the day after my 14th birthday, Harland and Wolf. That's when you worked in Belfast. Not just the word. We didn't call her Titanic then. I worked in the food and then we built. Three of us for the other side of the people hold her up. We had candles for light. There were extra trams laid on. Vegetables and dumplings. Or mutton chops, mashed fried and jacket potatoes. 
custard pudding. Apple we'll get it all buffet. Ooh, Rust salmon meat. mayonnaise, potted shrimp. Oh, like a fish platter. You, you love it. <laughs> I have a fish platter. Oh, a cheese platter as well. That's nice. Getting away as quickly as possible, otherwise they'll go to the full general of the ship. A bit later, the foreign bone guy is carried away, and the funnel, weighing scary radio that went down with a crash on the water. It missed like the raft um, and some of it's hanging on to it. All the, the messages that they sent out. Yeah. There were a good many of them. Like even like quite panicked, like messages Next in it. So this here was where the ship was built. Wow, it doesn't look very big, but when you um, when we were inside up there, it didn't look very big down here. But as soon as you're down here, oh, you can really feel like the size of what the ship would have been. So each of these two sides basically make up um, two ships. This is what the ship would have sank on. I think these are the original train lines they would have brought some of the equipment on. I'm guessing these are all the names of the people that, all the crew, these ones. The crew of the Titanic. And in memory of eight men who died in the construction and launch. Wow. So I think actually it's that one over there that was where it was built. But look, right now I'm inside exactly a similar space. You just feel the size of what it would have been. It's incredible. I always thought over there, those were where it was built. But I don't think that was. I think these, they might have been over the top of this area here. But, um, but yeah, when you look at like the Belfast skyline, you see these big yellow crane things. And I thought, oh, that's where it is. But it's not, it's over here. So as I've grabbed, oh my god, here. So I've grabbed myself. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. So I've grabbed myself a Titanic cup of tea, two pound forty. Yes, thank you. And let's review the Titanic Museum for you. Well, do you know what? It's twenty-five quid to get in, which isn't too dreadful. Um, and it was, I think, it's pretty good. It only took me, say, an hour and a half to get round. The museum maybe if you read every single piece of information it would take you a little bit longer and today it was really quiet for a saturday quite a quiet quiet day um and let me put you over here so yeah it was quite a quiet day here today and um so it's very easy to get around the whole of the museum um do i think it's worth 25 quid i think they could drop it a little bit in price but actually very impressive. So you've got that fantastic ride. I think that's a really nice addition. It really shows you like inside as well, what it would have been like. Like I think I'm come away with knowing exactly 
what it would be like inside a Titanic and how they built it as well. That was really interesting. Some information I never really knew. So it's really good. Obviously from the film, everyone's going around looking for Jack and Rose. Um, but there's that somber part as well where you really realize that it's just not a film that we're coming to a museum for. This really did happen and that's really interesting. And if you just want to come in for free as well, you can just come out here and just witness the size and the and just exactly where this all happened, where it was all built. And on a beautiful sunny day, it is lovely out here. I really am impressed by this place. If you've ever been to the Titanic Museum, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see me visit and review more places like this, then let me know. But like I say, this was, as you can see, the museum's down there, an amazing building as well. Look at it. Look at the size of that museum. Hang on a second. I need to find out, just before I let you go, was, you find, was this the size of, maybe this was the size of the whole Titanic. Maybe I've got this wrong. Maybe this whole area here, is the size of the Titanic because the way the museum's shaped looks, yeah, it is. It's got, I've, I've, mis, I've misfed your information there, sorry. This is the whole of the Titanic. Now it makes, now it's even bigger. The sheer, oh my God, the sheer size of it's crazy. The whole point of coming here was as well to see if Olive would love it. Cause I know that Olive will watch this and she'll be really interested as well to know what is here and what the museum has to offer would she love it actually i think she really would there's a lot of information a lot of behind the scenes that she would love i think maybe give it a few more years she's only nine at the moment maybe which is a little bit older she might um she might take in some of the information a little bit more but i honestly think if you uh, are interested in the titanic obviously this has to be the place to come to now i'm going to leave you to the sun very slowly going down. This looks amazing. Look at this. Look at that. What a picture that's going to be. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have been to the Titanic Museum or not uh, and what you think of it. Obviously, like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>